was homeward bound somewhere on the deep. Laying in my hammock, I fell asleep. Dreamed a dream, and I thought it true. Concerning Lord Franklin and his gallant crew. Dickinson responded not only to the deaths of friends and neighbors, but to events that took place far distant from Amherst and aroused national attention. In 1845, Dickinson was in her early teens when the British explorer Sir John Franklin disappeared on a voyage to find the Northwest Passage from the Atlantic to the Pacific. In 1851, while the search for Franklin continued to grip the public, explorers discovered the bodies of three of Franklin's crew. Magazines like The Atlantic Monthly and Harper's Weekly, which the Dickinson family read, featured pictures and stories of this tragic tale. To Emily Dickinson, the story of loss, frustrated search, and suffering reached deep into her imagination. In the family library was an account written by explorer Elisha Kent Kane of the 1853 Grinnell expedition to find Franklin. Newspapers and magazines, particularly in the Northeast, featured many stories about Kane. Although the search for Franklin proved futile, Kane was greeted as a national hero when he finally returned in October 1855 after two long winters stranded in the Arctic ice. Kane died of rheumatic heart failure, still in his 30s in 1857. His funeral train, as President Lincoln's would do eight years later, journeyed thousands of miles from New Orleans to his native Philadelphia and drew huge crowds. The renowned minister Charles Wadsworth who Dickinson probably heard preach when she visited Philadelphia in March 1855, gave a dramatic emotional prayer at Kane's funeral. Years later, Dickinson would refer to Wadsworth as her closest earthly friend. Dickinson may have had Franklin and his sailors in mind in a poem praising a stately, shriven company their faith, the everlasting troth, their expectation, fair. The needle to the north degree wades so through polar air. To her, faith was not a matter of doctrine, but a total commitment, as steady as a compass needle, to an often elusive object. In a poem, Dickinson referred to the lone British lady who never forsook the Arctic race. This was Lady Jane Franklin, who funded search after search for her lost husband and became for the poet an image of loyalty and courage. <laughs> 